many beautiful costumes. So you asked for it, Shimmy Shaker, and here today is our costume haul video. I seriously have so many costumes, really, really beautiful ones. Um, and today I'm gonna show them all to you. So if you wanna hear where I got my costumes from and see what they look like, um, please keep watching. Okay, so I'm starting with one that was, I think pretty much the first costume I ever used. And this was this purple skirt that I made myself. So if you subscribe, you might've seen my video recently about ways to get costumes and one of them is to make them yourself. I made this skirt, just from some very cheap fabric that I bought, glitter fabric, um, put an elastic at the top and it was really fun to wear this one because it was my first ever belly dancing performance. So even though it's a pretty crappy costume, I've still got it because of its sentimental value. Okay, next costume. You might have seen me wearing this one in some of my recent videos. I love this one. I bought this in Egypt um, and it's got this beautiful top as well. I love it because it's elastic back so it's very comfortable. I bought it from Yeso Boutique, um, which is in Kankalili and when I wore this costume for the very first time, I don't know how this didn't make it into my costume disaster video, but you can see it's got this little lining underneath and the lining underneath was meant to sit in place so that I wouldn't be flashing everyone, but of course it rode up during the performance and two very nice people came up to me afterwards and said, oh, I loved your show, but you were flashing everyone. Not great. So now when I wear this costume, I wear my little pink bike shorts underneath, but this one is beautiful because it moves so beautifully. It's really elegant, but it's nice and light as well, which sometimes that's what we need. Also, because it doesn't have the beading at the back, it's easier to sit down in this. So if I have a few gigs in one night, I might wear this one just because it's easier to drive rather than get changed. Okay, next one. I'm just going through these as they come out, as I've stored them. Stored them in these big boxes, just put them under the bed. Um, this one, I love it. When I first got it, I wasn't really into red and I didn't wear it that much, but look at the amazing beading in this. Like that is hours and hours of work. And it's got these little side panels here that look a little bit sexy, a little bit fun. I wore this for Chinese New Year recently. Yep, belly dancing for Chinese New Year. Um, but a lovely costume. It's also good as a belly dancer to have a red costume. I don't know why, but often when I'm asked to do gigs with other people, they say, oh, can you wear red? So if you're starting out with your costume collection, a red one's nice. I got this one in Egypt as well. Um, and that's the, that's the top. So the top for this one's nice because it's elasticated, um, but this part is nice and strong. Okay, what's coming up next? Oh, I love this skirt when I first got it. It was so unique. I bought this from Souffle Boutique and it's got a slit in the middle and this is really fashionable in belly dancing for a little while. I don't know why I always do this move to show off skirts, um, but these frills look so dramatic. And when I bought this, not many people were wearing this kind of costume. So it was a real wow factor as I came in. Um, this one has a beautiful leg piece. Again, pretty unique. And I like Seafood Boutique because their costumes look great, but they are really only made to perform a few times. So you can see these beautiful little pieces. That's, so that's to go on the leg, not on the arm. It's made from lace. It's not beaded like some of the more intricate Egyptian costumes. All these little, little stones are stuck on, um, but they do come off really easily. So that's, that's not great, but they, they do look really good. Um, and this is the bra for this one. Again, I really like this one because it's elasticated here, elasticated here. I don't know why they don't all make it elastic because it makes it so much more comfortable to dance in. Um, yeah, lots of nice patterns. And this one comes with a belt. Well, wearing it around your hips. Again, beautiful details, but all stuck on. So it does come off pretty quickly. And this one, one of my favorite parts about this costume is that it came with these gorgeous arm pieces. Do you have a lot of costumes? Do you ever put them all out on your bed and just watch them shimmer? I haven't done that for a while. <laughs> Maybe you do. How pretty is that? 
Imagine for something like Mawashahat, or classical oriental, really, really gorgeous sleeves. Um, you could probably make these pretty easily as well. It's just a piece of fabric, kind of this shape, and then a piece of elastic at the top. But again, all the gorgeous details. Okay, when I bought that costume, I also bought this one, which is now stuck to my veil. <laughs> again, really beautiful, but mainly for show. So these kind of things, they're not hand beaded. Some of the glass falls out, you can see, but it's a really dramatic way to enter wearing a full sequin costume. Again, this is elastic, this is elastic. You can see some of these are already missing. And the skirt with this one is this awesome sequins that everyone wants to rub your leg when you're wearing this one, which is inappropriate. But it's because you can brush the sequins one way and then the other, whether you're in a black mood or a green blue mood. This one had this at the back. Um, the problem with this though is that there was nothing holding it in place. So it's backed onto elastic. I've had to pin it because as it stretches, the whole thing stretches where you really need a piece of fabric at the back to make sure it doesn't stretch so that this little diamante piece doesn't move. You can see at the front too, really beautiful details. Um, for this one as well, it's got a fish tail, so extra beautiful flow, and it's got these little panels at the front, just a little bit sexy in black. Another really nice thing about this costume is this arm piece. So again, you might have seen me wearing this in some of my videos. You could make this too. It looks really beautiful, very dramatic. So this little cord just hooks onto your finger and then the other arm comes around. So when you're doing all your beautiful arm work, yeah, it's a nice, nice little touch that one is. Okay. At the bottom of this one, I've got heaps of scarves I bought, <laughs> or veils. I bought all these veils mainly to use in class. They're, they're really nice. They're really fun. I've got lots of colors. We practice with these sometimes. Oh my goodness, I'm still going. Yellow, pink. Um, these are great as well because you can use them to wrap yourself up sometimes. Sometimes you don't want your really good veil to just to wrap yourself up because it can get caught. So you can just bring the veil around when you're wearing a costume one side than the other. Still got more colors. <laughs> this is a green piece of fabric that I use as a veil. So especially if you're just starting out with your veil, yeah, just a nice piece of fabric that can be a great way to do it. Okay, next is this dress. I bought this dress for a ballad performance when I first started and I actually bought it in, I think it was in Vietnam, but it looks so pretty. And you can see all the sparkles in this one. It's all hand sewn and you can see inside, look at all that work that's gone into this one. This one's velvet. Um, so it's a little tricky to wash. You have to be really careful when you wash it, um, but really, Really lovely. How pretty is that? So nice. Oh, getting all these memories now of my first ever performances. Okay, let's see what else do we have in here. So, next is a costume I bought in Egypt quite a long time ago. I think this was from Yasso Boutique as well. And you might have seen me wearing this in pictures from when I was in Egypt. When I got this one, this style bra was really, really popular. So it's the one where it comes down and then across, very sexy, but doesn't hold you in place very well. So I'd only recommend this kind of style um, for people who can get away with it. If you're very busty, you might not want to wear this kind of style costume. But again, it hasn't got elastic here, but it's got elastic here, this one. So that's the opposite way to most ones. And I like this one because it's simple, but looks really good. So again, you can see it's got a little bit of beading but not too much. It's got beading along the ends here. And if I can find the skirt for this one. Yeah, I seriously have so many amazing costumes. <laughs> um, so the skirt for this one, oh, it looks a bit crushed, unfortunately, um, but really pretty. You can see it's got all these strings of the seed beads coming down. So I bought this in Egypt in 2012. That was when they were still doing all the speed work and you could get these costumes pretty cheaply. Like I think this one was maybe $80 Australian, which 
is really, really good, especially something that's all hand done. This has a little fish tail as well. It's all lycra, really easy costume. I wear this one when I want something that it might get dirty <laughs> and I, it sometimes as well if I'm going to drive in it because I can just pull it up and it's quite comfortable. You never want to sit on the beads in your costume because that can ruin the beads. So again, lovely one there. I'm getting tangled in my veil. <laughs> okay, this was one of my first ever professionally made belly dancing costumes I bought. I keep it in this little bag and I used to dance, say, three or four times each night on the weekends sometimes and I would wear this costume nearly all the time. I really loved it that much. So this part is nice and stiff, the top is nice and stretchy and you can see it's a gorgeous green colour and it's got all those details, such beautiful details. The skirt, it's a simple slip-on skirt with your elastic underneath so you know that it's going to stay on well from that strong elastic. And then it's got this little piece that comes around. So this piece comes around, clips up, and you've got your slit in the side. So really pretty. I love the colour. My favourite colour is green. But lots of detail as well. And you can see the quality. Like I would have worn this hundreds and hundreds of times. And all the beading's still there. It's lost a little bit of its spark. When I bought that costume, I also bought this one, which is very similar, but in black. It's nice to have a black costume because it's very sexy. Um, so you can see I've got pins in this one already with the little hook, which doesn't look very secure. I always get worried that my bra's gonna fall off. Hopefully not. Um, and again, you can see this one's got a little bit of fabric, but mainly all that beading. How beautiful is that? And then it's got the beading and the sequins along the side. And this one's skirt, it's a little bit different to the green skirt because it's got this big fish tail at the back. So when you move, it's stunning. It's really stunning, this one. Even though this one wasn't that expensive too, I think this was about maybe $80 as well. But I bought it earlier than the blue one. So the blue one was quite cheap, but I bought that in 2012. This one I bought, I think, in 2010. It's got all this little beading, beautiful fishtail back coming out, and the obligatory slit at the front for us belly dancers. Anytime you want to have an elegant show, it's really nice to wear something like that. Um, with that costume as well, I also keep that in this little bag. Um, I got these arm pieces so you can see gorgeous work on those and again such good quality everything stayed together and headbands i never wear these do you wear these <laughs> let me know in the comments do you like headbands i don't know why they just don't seem to suit me for some reason okay next one oh i love this costume it's like a blue mermaid <laughs> This one I've worn heaps as well. So it's got all the beautiful detailing. This was also bought in Egypt, but I can't remember the name of the person who made it. It's got this little strap. So you can get really tight with this one because it's not stretchy at all. So you can really hold yourself up and this isn't stretchy either. And then it's got this piece that comes around and then hooks on the side. So you get like a little cross pattern from these straps. Beautiful skirt. So again, I mean, you can even hear it. You can hear the weight of the beads, how pretty it is. Look at all that detail, amazing. Now with the fabric in this one, it is quite old, but you can see some of the sparkles in the fabric have come off. I did have a little bit of a costume disaster with this one. Um, not too bad though, but <laughs> when you're in the light, you've got this part covering most of you, but the white does get see-through. So you really have to make sure that you wear the right underwear with this one. Okay, these were the next two. These were the most expensive costumes I bought at the time. And this was my first trip to Egypt, I think in 2010. And these were by Hanan and they were made especially for me. Oh no, they weren't made especially for me. They were fitted especially for me. So I saw them at a festival. I love them. <laughs> and then, yeah, I got them to make them in my size. Um, so this one, look how unique that is. 
the top comes across in a cross. I've got a little bit of a loose thread here. And then it's got another strap here. So unique, but very supportive. And then it comes across at the back. You can see all the detailed work in this. I mean, when you go through these belly dancing costumes, it's just hours and hours that people have spent making them. Um, this skirt is unique and beautiful as well. So it's got this little ruching at the back and then a really nice fishtail. Lots of fabric. You can tell with the ones where you spend a little bit extra, there's extra care going into it. It's heavy as well. All this beading, a split up the side. And again, look how much beading work there is. You can tell by the back of the costume. I love this one. I'll only really wear it for special occasions like photo shoots. Someone especially asks for a purple costume. I tend to wear this one, not the one that I made for my first ever belly dance performance. And this one came with these gorgeous, well, headbands. <laughs> As I said, I hardly ever wear that. I don't know if I've ever worn it actually. And gorgeous, gorgeous armbands. Oh, so pretty these ones. And you can see the quality. Really, really, really nice. All the little beads, hand sewn on. Okay. So when I bought that purple one, I also got this one, which I love the shape of. You might have seen me in this in photos before as well. Um, so it's a really nice color, blue, royal blue. And then it's got two pieces of fabric here. So one comes around. And again, this bra style was really popular at the time. One comes around and then hooks up. So again, you can see, look at all that beadwork. So, 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 so pretty. Like my last few trips to Egypt, I just haven't been able to find anything that's as beautiful, as good quality and not super, super expensive. I mean, you can get really gorgeous costumes that cost thousands of dollars. I don't really have the budget for that, but I still love them. Um, this is the armband for these ones. So I've got two armbands here. And one of the best parts about this costume is the skirt. Oh, that one had a headband too. I'll show you the headband just in case you're a headband wearer. Lovely. So I love the skirt in this one. It's kind of like those two tones where they play around with the two tones. So it comes down, it's got the ruching at the sides. I'll stand back a little bit so you can see better. It's got the ruching at the sides, beautiful flow. And this one doesn't have a split, oh my goodness. How do we survive without a split? <laughs> and that's the back. So the back comes around and then this gorgeous fishtail here. You can see all the details on the side and the other side. Yeah, really pretty. I only really wear this one for special occasions as well, but also it doesn't have elastic at the top. I need to actually put elastic in because I find if I'm doing a really hard shimmy, can can slip down a bit. It's always a balance. You never want the muffin top from the elastic sticking in really tight, but at the same time, you don't want your skirt to fall off either. Okay. Next costume. This is kind of a fun, creative costume. In bright pink, every belly dancer needs a bright pink costume. Look at that. So you might've seen me wearing this one as well. It's kind of asymmetrical, fun. Everything's just everywhere. I like it as well because it's got elastic here. This part is an elastic. And even though some of the beadwork is a bit random, like watch here, like this color doesn't match with that color. It's very random, but it still looks great. I really like it. Um, and for the skirt for this, so this is another one I bought on a trip to Egypt as well. Skirt for this, the actual shape is pretty uniform, but again, the beading is all a bit random. Like you see this part, you don't realize, but this part is different to this part. Yeah, it just seems very randomly put on, but I think it still looks really, really nice. Again, you've got your fishtail at the back. This one's done in this kind of pink sparkly fabric and it's got all your little beads around the bottom. This has got elastic at the top as well. Oh my goodness, so many costumes. Okay, I'm nearly, nearly there. Um, I saw this skirt in the last, in the last video. 
Andalusian style skirt. I love this because the hem is really, really long. Look, imagine spinning in this. So this was for an Andalusian style piece. It's really fun to spin in this skirt because even though it's heavy, you can just spin and spin and the skirt billows out and it looks really, really good. Okay, oh, nearly there. I've got a couple more. Okay, final one. Oh no, two more, okay. Next one is this super glittery skirt that I bought from Sufal Boutique as well. I love this. I tend to wear this with my blue and white top, the one I showed you before, and another hip belt, which I'll show you. So this one looks amazing. Look at that. I love the tones of the fabric. It's like my Elsa frozen costume. Um, this one, it's got these nice little cheeky parts outside, which whenever I wear this, you never really see because I have my shimmy belt over the top, but it looks great. The only thing with this one is it does leave a lot of glitter everywhere. So I'm a bit selfish. I only really wear this one when I can get changed at the venue. Um, super elegant, super fun, super, super sparkly. And I wear this one, with, it's kind of a Madame Abla style top, but it's not actually by Madame Abla. I'd love to own a Madame Abla belly dance costume. My friend Patricia, she has heaps and they're, oh, they're so gorgeous. I get, should get her to do a costume haul if you want to see her costumes, right in the comments below. Um, yeah, and this one, it's getting a bit old now, but you can see it does have all the work. And to be honest, I never wear this one anymore, but I do wear the skirt that comes with it. So the skirt, or sorry, the shimmy scarf, still looks in good condition. It's got all these beads coming down. And across. Now I know what you might be thinking. You might be thinking, where are all her chiffon skirts? And you're right, they're in another cupboard. So let me get those. Okay, so I lied. I don't keep all my costumes in these three boxes. I actually have a whole lot of hanging space for other costumes as well um, that I don't want to get crushed. So I'll show you those in a sec, but first I just wanted to show you this dress. This was the first dress that I bought. Proper belly dancing dress other than the blue one I showed you before. Um, it's really gorgeous and I tend to wear this for performances where I need to be a bit more covered up but still want people to see my moves. So if you're dancing a community festival or a wedding and they ask you to wear something covered. So look at this, it's got this beautiful sheer part. I bought this off, I was working for a place called Bella Size for a while, I bought this off my boss from there. And it's got so much detail, but to be honest, I don't wear it very often because the straps are a bit short and I know it'd be so easy just to change the straps and I should definitely do that. But saying that, I still haven't. And now I'm climbing through my living room with all these costumes. Okay, nearly there. Beautiful Saidi dress, that's compulsory. Sometimes I wear this over things, but usually I wear it again for things that need to be a little bit more conservative, but still super fun. I'll wear usually my black bra under that one. Um, nice Kaliji style dress. You can also wear this as a cover-up. So this one's really, really pretty. I hardly ever wear this one. Yeah, I hardly ever wear it. That's the wrong way around, the base at the front. Hardly ever wear it, but looks beautiful. So still here. Um, next is a cover-up. I hardly wear this one either, unless I'm going to a gig and I have several gigs at once and it is raining because it's got a really nice hood. Although saying that when I'm walking around Melbourne wearing this, I guess it's obvious that I'm going to a belly dancing show, but people do look at you weirdly. <laughs> but that's okay. We're used to that as belly dancers. Um, one that's a little bit more conservative that I just wear to cover up, especially if I'm going to a big belly dancing festival um, and I know that there's going to be a break in between performances. This is super easy. Press studs, nothing gets caught on anything. It's thick fabric, so I don't have to worry about it getting damaged. Oh got the nice back as well. Oh, I'm nearly there. <laughs> Another skirt, Souffle Boutique. I love this one, it's green, it's silk, and it's got 
two very high splits up the side. So that's basically a split all the way up to the elastic. It looks gorgeous. It's got this tulle netting quite thick at the bottom, which helps the way it moves. Really, really lovely. And then I've just got my beautiful Malaya. This one I bought in Egypt too. I haven't used it for ages. Maybe I should teach a Malaya dance in my class. Really nice, very easy. Got your sequins all around the outside. It's nice and big as well. And then that's it. Oh my goodness. Hope you've liked this costume haul. Which was your favorite costume? So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe because I have heaps more tutorials coming out and then you'll get notified when they are released. And as always, happy dancing.